are here today to bring you the 2016 Billboard Music Awards finalists. Nominees? I don't know. <laughs> yes. But the Billboard Music Awards will be hosted by Ludacris and Sierra. Ludacris is always hosting it, but Sierra is new, so congratulations. Hey, that's C. a throwback. Oh, right oh. here we ride slow. And ride. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And, and ride. ride. But now, now I like the They know each other for a long time. Own. That's my jam. Yeah. So, it's going to be held in Las Vegas, <laughs> May 22nd at the new T-Mobile Arena yeah. that they just put up when Nicki Minaj and Aaron Grande did it when I wasn't there because I got in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, they always do it in Las Vegas. They always do it in all Las Vegas. But last he year, was there. it was at the MGM Grand. We was there. You guys go check out our vlog on that. But uh, this year, it's gonna be at the new arena, so it's gonna be a different change of scenery. So I'm gonna see where the heck the barricade is gonna go. Can I hop it? Can I hop it? That's what. I just about. hope they let us see everybody mm -hmm. like they did in the past years. So we'll see about that. We we'll saw about that. So we're about to get to the finals. So they say the weekend. He is got is a finalist 19 times in 16 categories, so he's leading. Justin Bieber mm -hmm. follows the weekend with a 12 times in 11 categories. It's Drake and Fetty Wap, they both finalists 11 times in 10 categories. And Taylor Swift and Adele are both finalists for 8 awards. So, it says, because I never knew what the Billboard Awards was based off of, like Rayo. So it yeah. says, Billboard Music Awards finalists are based on a key fan interaction with music, including album and digital song sales, radio, airplay, streaming, touring, and social interactions on Facebook, Twitter, you know, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and other popular online destinations for music. These measurements are tracked... Facebook! Track yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, and other people, and other places too. So it said these measurements are tracked year-round by Billboard, and its data partners include Nielsen Music and the mm -hmm. Next Big Sound. The awards are based on a reporting period of tracking dates. Listen to this. March 23, 2015 through March 17, 2016. Then Billboard chart dates are April 11, 2015 through April 2, 2016. So mm -hmm. if you got your, if you are all your stuff in this, yeah. I better see Rihanna nominated for something. Or Aaron Grande. I better yes. see... Yeah, so let's get this started. Top artist nominees are Adele, Justin Bieber, Drake, Taylor Swift, and The Weeknd. My problem? Where's Rihanna? Did Billboard just not post a, a article about how Rihanna is now tied with the Beatles? The eight weeks work? Excuse me. I would l rather you take Drake out and put Rihanna in. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. Top new artist Fetty Wap, Omi, yes, Charlie Puth. Silento and Bryson Tiller. We already know Charlie Poop's gonna win that. Why is that? Um, because oh, it's either Charlie Poop or Fetty Wap because about he's, Bryson main, Tiller, he's mainstream. People was raving about. Bryson I know everybody raved about Bryson Tiller, but you know, you know how these awards are. Oh, that's next. So top male artists: Justin Bieber, Drake, Fetty Wap, Ed Sheeran, and The Weeknd. I'm sure Chris Brown was nominated. Normally, Trey Songz is nominated. I guess not. Not this time. Well, they, well no, that's AMA. It's well, this billboard. See what this? I don't know if these are nominees because it's not saying like it's say finalists. It's not saying like um mm -hmm. like R and B or hip hop. Mm -hmm. It's not saying nothing. So so I guess it's just top male artists. Yes. So I guess I'm okay with that. Fetty Wap is in it, so you know what? Mm -hmm. You know he's repping for the hood hard. It's like not. Can you, you can stop twitching your hair? You can do anything <laughs> yeah. when you come. You if you in the hood, you can do anything. Obviously, he's shown that to people. You can do anything. So, top female artists, Adele, Selena Gomez, Aaron Grande, Rihanna, and Taylor Swift. Yeah, finally. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it. okay, top female. Mm -hmm. Okay. Top duo group, Maroon 5, One Direction, 21 Pilots, The Rolling Stones, and U2. U2? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they put out their little thing that everybody didn't want I'm, to be I'm on their phone. I know. They, they, they were so, so mad. They were so mad that it was on their phone and they could not get that they, U2 they album off. off. Mm -mm, they were so, so mad. mad. But I'm glad um I'm glad one D is up in there because mm -hmm. they deserve some recognition. Yeah. But where is D I thought I would think DNC would be up there because they was all big this year or last year. DNC, Joe Jonas, the group. No, they just came out, girl. So. so then top Billboard two hundred artists, Adele, Justin Bieber, Drake, Taylor Swift in the weekend. So, you know, top Billboard two hundred, that's like what it was like charting on a Billboard two hundred mm -hmm. thing, you know, that's what that is. So that's good because they've been charting. Yeah. Then top hot one hundred artists, Justin Bieber, Rihanna. Drake, Fetty Wap, Taylor Swift in the weekend. Okay, I didn't hear Rihanna. I didn't hear Rihanna either. Top song sales artists, Adele, Justin Bieber, Drake, Fetty Wap in the weekend. They still didn't hear Rihanna. Uh, top radio song artists, Justin Bieber, Ellie Golden, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd. Didn't hear Rihanna either. 
top streaming songs artists, Justin Bieber, Drake, Fetty Wap, Silento, The Weeknd. <laughs> it's basically all the same people. Top, <laughs> but you put a little know, dash to somebody different the, than that. I know, stop streaming. So, Fetty Wap might win top streaming. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Top social media artists, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Aaron Grande, Demi Lovato, and Taylor Swift. Social media. Say it again. Top social media artists, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Aaron Grande, Demi Lovato, and Taylor Swift. Um... Top social media artist. Is Rihanna? It's Rihanna. Seriously, Aaron Grande don't get on that much. Lord. She get on, but she don't get on that much. Seriously? Selena Gomez has the most followers, more than Taylor Swift. But I don't know. Um, seriously, I don't know. Okay. So top touring artists: Madonna, One Direction, The Rolling Stones, Taylor Swift, and U two. Rihanna just made records too. With just, that just like Madonna Taylor right Swift now. did. So, so she should have been She should have been nominated. So then top R and B artists, Chris Brown, Jeremiah, Rihanna, Bryson Tiller, The Weeknd. Top rap artists, Drake, Fetty Wap, Wiz Khalifa, Silent Toe. And you saw I caught off cut off future, he's in there too. But that's what Sierra did when her and Luda Chris was uh, doing the nominations or finalists on Good Morning America. She skipped over future so Luda Chris had to say future and then she finished with the rest. I like girl, you know what I'm she don't gotta recognize she it. She don't wanna recognize it. So yeah. So the top country artists: Zach Brown Band, Luke Bryan, Sam Hunt, Chris Stapleton, and Carrie Underwood. Top rock artists: Fall Out Boy, L. King, Twenty One Pilots, Walk the Moon, and X Ambassadors. Fall Out Boy stay mm -hmm. in like they stay they relevant. Stay. They stay. It's they like, will always be relevant. They always it's, they stay true to their music. That's yes. what you do. Then top Latin artists: Banda, Cena, Lone C. Is nominated Juan Gabriel, Nicky Jam, Ariel Camacho, and Romeo Santos. Then top dance slash electronic artists: The Chainsmokers, DJ Snake, David Guetta, Mitch Slater, and Zed. Um, where's Skrillex and and what's his name? Devo. Seaman. Top. I don't understand. Maybe these aren't. Maybe these aren't. Maybe these aren't the nominations. These are just they the seem finalists. finalists, but still, I don't understand. Justin Bieber's nominated, so why wouldn't mm -hmm. um, Skrillex and Diplo, Diplo be nominated? nominated? He's just um, Justin Bieber is gonna be nominated for Where Have You Been? Mm -hmm. And I script script this D Diplo in Skrillex. So what? I don't know. Let's get on. Top Christian artists: Casting Crowns, Lauren Daigle, Hillsong United, Mercy Me, and Chris Tomlin. Chris Tomlin actually got this song. It said this song. You hear the song about brother? The brother song. I think I've heard yeah. it. Um, so then, top gospel artists Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, Tasha Cobbs, Kirk Flanken, Travis Green, and Marvin Sa Marvin Sapp. Then you got top Billboard 200 album Adele 25, Justin Bieber Purpose, Ed Sheeran Multiply, Taylor Swift 1989, The Weeknd Beauty Behind the Madness. Then you got top soundtrack. Here we go. Empires Season One soundtrack, Fifty Shades of Grey. Furious 7, Guardians of the Galaxy, Awesome Mix, Volume 1, and Pitch Perfect 2. Then you got Top R&B Album. Chris Brown Royalty. Rihanna Anti. Bryson Tiller Trap Soul. Tyrese Black Rose. Ooh, the Weeknd Beauty Behind the Madness. I'm glad Tyrese I'm is glad. in there. Oh, I'm so relieved. Okay, was, okay, they not, need more I real R&B artists in that category, though. Mm -hmm. But, you know. I'm glad. Anti I'm shocked Anti was not made. Mm -hmm. But still, that's good. That's that good. was... This album, Anti, is more R&B than, you know, the, the other ones. ones. Yeah. So, this yeah. So then, Chris Brown's Rosie, no. It was only, like, a few songs in there that, that had That was R&B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so then, top rap album. That, <laughs> this is going to be funny. Well, whoever wins is going to be funny. Top rap album, Drake, if you're reading this, it's too late. Drake and Future, What a Time to Be Alive. Dr. Oh Drake, God. Compton. Kendrick Lamar, The Pimp Up Butterfly. Meek Mill, Dreams Worth More Than Money. You nominated me? <laughs> That's because all this hype. So, okay, if Future get up there and win the Sierra's hosting, I don't know what Future's going to say. If Drake get up there and win, I'm going to get Meek Mill, I don't know what he's going to say. Hopefully, Kendrick Lamar wins, so maybe we can so all that way, stuff. Nobody so, all this nothing. stuff is going to come. Yeah, nobody gets to say nothing. Oh, but, yeah. Kendrick deserves to win anyway. Yeah. He rap. So, the top country album, Chris Stapleton, Traveler, Luke Bryan, Kill the Light, Sam Hunt, Sam Montevallo. Hunt. Zach Brown, Brian, Jekyll and Hyde, Carrie oh, Underwood, Brown, no, so. Storytelling. 
Then you got top rock album, Alabama Shakes, Sound and Color, David Bowie's Black Star, Coldplay, A Head Full of Dreams, Mumford and Sons, Water Mine, and 21 Pilots, Blurry Face. I like 21 Pilots. So then you got top, oh here you go, top dance size electronic album. David Guetta Listen, Major Layer, Peace is the Mission, Odessa in Return, Skrillex and Diplo, Skrillex and Diplo present Jack Yu, and Zed's True Colors. So, yeah. That's good. Then you had Top Gospel Album, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, Everyday Jesus, Tasha Cobbs, One Place Live, Live, One Place Live, (laughs) Kirk Franklin's Losing My Religion, Jonathan McReynolds' Life Music Stage 2, and Marvin Sapp, You Shall Live. Top Christian Album, Lauren Davis. You see how it's two different <laughs> categories, Christian and gospel? Because those are white people. The Christians are white people and the gospel is the black people. Do you not see that? I just, I just realized that. Christians is white and gospel is black. I didn't That's what they're that. doing. That's what they, they do that. Why wasn't they when they just put it all? Because I don't Christian, know. They all sing about God the same thing. It's Christian. It's the same thing. Anyways, the top Christian album, Lauren Daigle, How Can It Be, Hillsong United, Empires, Joy <laughs> Plus Roy, Hymns That Are Important to Us, Toby Mac, This Is Not a Test, This Ain't a Test, Chris Tomlin, Adore, Christmas Songs of Worship. So <laughs> then you got Top Hot 100 Song, Adele, Hello. Yes. Fetty Wap, Trap Queen, Wiz Cleaver featuring Charlie Poof's See You Again, mm-hmm. The Weeknd, Can't Feel My Face, and The Weeknd, The Hills. Because that, if that's what's on a hot 100, that's not fair. I'm trying to tell you, so it wasn't in there. That's not fair. Okay, here you go. Top selling song Adele, Hello, Wiz Cleaf and Charlie Poof, See You Again, Oh Me Cheerleader, and really? Rachel Platt's that's Fight good. Song in The Week in the Hills. Top radio song Adele, Hello, Wiz Cleaf and Fish and Charlie Poof, See You Again. Mark Ronson featuring F- Bruno Uptown Mars, Funk. Uptown Funk. Where was that all up in here? I know. Walk the moon, shut up and dance, and the weekend yeah. can't feel my face. Oh, the, it's a lot. I, I just skipped that on. The, the top streaming song, audio, Justin Bieber, sorry. Justin Bieber, what do you mean? The Fetty Wap Trap Queen, The Weeknd, The Hills, and Drake Hotline Bling. You I, got, think, I, that's, I don't think that's fair. They nominated twice. Or, if that's what's on the chart. If that's how you do it. Hey, that's how it go. Top streaming song, video, in parentheses. Fetty Wap Trap Queen, See you again, Whiskey Feature Charlie Poof, Mark Ronson Feature Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk, Silent Hill, Watch Me, and The Weeknd, The Hills. I don't have an explosion in cut emoji thing to put up there, so yeah. Anyway, so top R&B song. Now, this is about to get me. Oh Alessa Car Car here. That's kind of R&B, well, but... it is. Yeah. Omarion Feature Chris Brown and Gene Aiko, Aiko, supposed to be. I guess so. It was like... I mean, that's hip hop. He, you about to be right. The weekend camp in my face. The weekend earned it. The weekend the hills. He got three chances. Three out of five. Why you know he got to win? You know he's gonna win. That's it. That's dumb. This did top rap song. Drake highlight bling. Fetty Wap trap queen. Fetty Wap six seven nine featuring them Remy boys. Silent to watch me and Wiz Khalifa featuring Charlie Poo see you again. What about Kendrick? I know. Top country song, Sam Hunt, Break Up in a Small Town. Sam Hunt, Take Your Time. Little Big Town Girl Crush. That song came out. That song came out a long time ago, and it's still charting. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, Thomas Rhett, Die Happy Man, and Chris Young, I'm Coming Over. Top rock song, Fall Boy, Uma Thurman, L. King, X's and O's, 21 Pilots, Stressed Out, Walk the Moon, Shut Up and Dance, and X Ambassador, Renegades. I'm not mad at none of those. Top Latin song, J Balvin, Ginza, Ariel Camacho, Timotiste, Nicky Jam, Enrique, Enrique Iglesias, El Perdon, Maluma, Boro Cassette, and Romeo Santos, Propuesta, and Decente. Hope I said that right. Okay, let's get some, okay. Top dance slash electronic song. The Chainsmokers featuring Roses. Roses! DJ Snake and the Luna George, you know you like it. David Gatt featuring Nicky Minaj, Baby Rexa, and Afrojack, Hey Mama. Major Lazer and DJ Snake featuring Mo, Lean On. Squillace and Depo, Where Are You Now with Justin Bieber. I'm shocked that he was in there, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Then we got two last ones. Top Christian Song, Hillsong United, Oceans Where Where Feet May Fail, Hillsong United, Touch the Sky, Mercy Me, Flawless, Need to Breathe, featuring Gavin DeGraw, Brother. That's it! I think that's the song. Chris Tomlin, Good, Good Father. Top Top Gospel Song, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy, Worth, Erica Campbell featuring Big Shoes, I Love Guy. Yes, I say I love God. You don't love God. <laughs> so wow. then, Kirk 
Kirk Blanken want to be happy? Travis Green is an intentional and Brian Courtney Wilson worth fighting for. So guys, that was all of the 2016 finalists. I do not know what finalists means. I thought it was just nominees. But I... Maybe this is the finalists and mm -hmm. then I, these are the final people. Mm -hmm. And after this, they're going to pick who the actual nominees are. So basically, um, The Weeknd, Drake... The Weeknd and Drake are going to be nominated at the Billboard Music Awards. And nobody else is going to win. That's basically I know. it. Yeah. It's a lot of other music, I think, that should have been, you know, featured or should have been finalist. Um, but, you yeah. know, this is, this is, yeah, yeah, Rihanna and other people too. But they saying that this is the top of the top of the best of the best, whatever. I wish I could hold um a award ceremony and give the people give the people that deserve some awards too. Like it's a lot of people that don't get recognized. I think it should be a limit. Like if you won, then maybe give somebody else a chance or something like that. Like maybe if you won, mm -hmm. then you can't win the next year, but you can win the, the year after that or something. Like it should be some kind of cutoff. So Rihanna that just top the hot that for her eighth week. Somebody else can you know get mm -hmm. in there some kind of way. You know, I guess they're just trying to do it like that. Get some recognition or something. Yeah, they should have like underground, like to, like something like Billboard but underground, like the Woodies. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Hey guys, that was all the finalists. Um, the weekend's probably gonna walk away with something, most likely because he's nominated so many times. I'm shocked Taylor Swift hasn't been nominated a lot of times. I know when she was at the iHeartRadio Music Awards, she said that she wasn't about to be doing award shows for a while because that was her like her last one for a while. But then like the Billboard Music Awards coming up, so I don't know if she's gonna be there. So maybe that's why they tried to do that or something. Because you know, I always think if the celebrity is there, then they're gonna give him the award. Then they're gonna give him the award. If that person that's nominated is there to give them more, that's what I think. That's what I think. You know what? I hope Tyrese get officially nominated. Mm -hmm. And I hope Tyrese wins. Because I don't even know if these nominations. But, you I've know, they probably, they probably not going to give it to him. It's going to go to the weekend of Christian. They're not going to give it to him, but he do deserve it. Mm -hmm. He really do, because he's R&B. Real R&B. Real R&B. Real r so real r Trey Song should have been nominated. I say this no. every single year. Every time. Trey songs, Trey songs, Trey songs, Trey songs, Trey songs. She got a dunk. She got a dunk. And that was it. This was the 2016 Billboard Music Award finalist. The nominees. They, they were the <laughs> list. And thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on who should have been nominated, who should have been nominated. What do you think you about this? You see everybody that got Is snubbed. The snubbage. Where was Demi Lovato's confidence? I know. But what do what do you expect? What do you expect? I, I should, we should expect this from these people. Because this is how that. it goes. And the artists that do, don't get nominated, don't get recognized, they should really be No Ariana Grande They focused. should be trying to do something about this. Maybe they are, but I don't see it a lot. So they should, you know. You know, that's just... But they, but some, they some, shine in their own way. Some say awards are don't not mean everything for them. So, you know. It's still nice to have something, though, girl. You know. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. I can't wait to see you, Nikki, if you come in here for the Bill Music Awards. I'm going to touch your hand and you're going to say you love me. I can't wait to see who's performing. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see who's I know. performing. I can't wait to see how Sierra and Lucas do and react if you should do come. Everybody's talking about it. She should get a Congratulations on your She should get a restraining order against Future because that he can't come to the show. So, okay, first of all. That would be messy. That would be messy. Um... <laughs> That don't work, though, because I think Chris Brown and Rihanna tried that, and Chris Brown still was able to come, because it's a big show, so sometimes stuff that limits stuff sometimes. Anyway, a lot of stuff, Future's popping off, a lot of stuff, something happened between him and Trey Songz, his camp, that was here in Las Vegas. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I'm waiting for responses, so, That's yeah. That's none of your business. It is my business. Everything 